The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is from the book of the Acts of the Apostles. The apostles and the brothers in Judea heard that Gentiles, too, had accepted the word of God. And when Peter came up to Jerusalem, the circumcised believers protested to him and said, So you have been visiting the uncircumcised and eating with them? Peter, in reply, gave them the details point by point. One day, when I was in the town of Jaffa, he began, I fell into a trance as I was praying and had a vision of something like a big sheet being let down from heaven by its four corners. This sheet came right down beside me. I looked carefully into it and saw four-footed animals of the earth, wild beasts, reptiles, and birds of heaven. Then I heard a voice that said to me, Now, Peter, kill and eat. But I answered, Certainly not, Lord. Nothing profane or unclean has ever crossed my lips. And a second time the voice spoke from heaven, What God has made clean, you have no right to call profane. This was repeated three times before the whole of it was drawn up to heaven again. Just at that moment, three men stopped outside the house where we were staying. They had been sent from Caesarea to fetch me, and the Spirit told me to have no hesitation about going back with them. The six brothers here came with me as well, and we entered the man's house. He told us he had seen an angel standing in his house who said, Send to Jaffa and fetch Simon, known as Peter. He has a message for you that will save you and your entire household. I had scarcely begun to speak when the Holy Spirit came down on them in the same way as it came on us at the beginning. And I remembered that the Lord had said, John baptized with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. I realized then that God was giving them the identical gift He gave to us when we believed in the Lord Jesus Christ. And who was I to stand in God's way? This account satisfied them, and they gave glory to God, saying, God has clearly granted to the Gentiles too the repentance that leads to life. In our response from Psalm 42, I thirst for God, the living God. When shall I go to see the face of God? I have no food but tears day and night, as all day long I am taunted, Where is your God? Send out your light and your truth, they shall be my guide, to lead me to your holy mountain, to the place where you dwell. Then I shall go to the altar of God, to the God of my joy. I will rejoice and praise you on the harp, O God, my God. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Jesus said, In all truth I tell you, anyone who does not enter the sheepfold through the gate, but climbs in some other way, is a thief and a bandit. He who enters through the gate is the shepherd of the flock. The gatekeeper lets him in. The sheep hear his voice. One by one he calls his own sheep and leads them out. When he has brought out all those that are his, he goes ahead of them. And the sheep follow because they know his voice. They will never follow a stranger, but will run away from him because they do not recognize the voice of strangers. Jesus told them this parable, but they failed to understand what he was saying to them. So Jesus spoke to them again. In all truth, I tell you, I am the gate of the sheepfold. All who have come before me are thieves and bandits, but the sheep took no notice of them. I am the gate. Anyone who enters through me will be safe. Such a one will go in and out and find pasture. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I have come so that they may have life and have it to the full. The Gospel of the Lord.